morning, new new corns. It's me, new new. Sunday morning. Oh, look at my nails. I painted my nails. <laughs> they match my hair. So, I have been thinking, and I want to start my toxic relationship talk. So, I'm about to get deep here for a minute with y'all. This is kind of the intro. This is kind of, I hope you can hear because there's like a, somebody's mowing the grass, but whatever. We're outside today. So I want to start my toxic shit. So this is the intro. I thought about it. And uh, these are, my videos are like my therapy sessions. Instead of me sitting on somebody's couch, honey, uh, I'm just going to sit here and talk to myself. So hopefully y'all listen. So 2015 is when it all started. Uh, uh, long story short, I met Daniel. Uh, doesn't matter where, doesn't matter how, but I met him. And instantly, I fell in love with him. He was cute, chocolatey, honey. <sighs> I fell in love. So, to bring it all in, we're going to start when he moved in. So, February 2015. <sighs> God, you know what, honey? If God is real he's real so he was trying to tell me something early early february met him but may 1st i got fired at the american or i'm sorry the herald standard advertising sales numbers were on fleek they're gonna tell me poor performance i was like all right fuck y'all may 4th my brand new cruise trixie was repoed I didn't have the money and he didn't even work so I was like you know what take it GM financial you can have it so if that wasn't a sign I don't know what what well, what and then the bullshit started he wanted to try to leave be gone for a few days come back honey I don't care if I trust you or not I'm going through your stuff I'm going through your phone. I'm going through your computer. So I know. I know everything that has gone on. Every single thing. There's not a story anybody out here can tell me about him that I don't already know. I always knew. Always knew. But as a good woman, as a good girlfriend, as a good wife, you defend your man. Meanwhile, behind 1317 door, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. I was with a narcissistic sociopath, honey. Both both it was a nightmare it was a nightmare I caught him so many times I have a list of the bitches I wanted to do a side-by-side because -side. honey if you're gonna cheat on me she better look better than me that's all I'm gonna say not one of these slam hogs look better than me ever even like this okay <laughs> you tried it you tried it I loved him and I knew deep down somewhere in that mental issue have an ass bipolar PTSD I, I don't know narcissist like deep down I knew that man loved me and I know he still does but that's not what we do here love ain't enough so I started dealing with the bullshit early nobody knew at first nobody knew so I'm like what then he would come back, he'd make up some story, he said he had a daughter, but come on honey, no you don't. You was just with a whore that had a kid early. You was trying to raise that girl, she was not your child, I already know. She about 17 years old, honey, you wasn't up here when you was a kid, stop lying. Like, he's from South Carolina. What was he doing in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? Boy, you tried it. So anyways, nightmare, started early. I'm not insecure with myself. I know I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. I don't need a man to feel feel full and, and full of life. I don't need y'all. I love y'all, but I don't need y'all. But that's just what you do. That's just what you do. You fight for your relationship. You make that shit work. But sometimes 
fighting and love ain't enough. It ain't enough. October 2015. That's when all this shit with my foot started. 2015 was the year, the hellish year. So, went to the hospital, figured it out, lost a toe. Tried to heal. He'd be gone for days, weeks at a time. Talking about he was with his daughter. You were lie. You were lie. He was lying. Um, caught him again. I mean, there, there are so many, there are just so many girls, so many stories. This is just the intro to what I'm about to tell y'all. Um, he would always come back with something stupid. Then he would be the man that I wanted him to be for like a week or two. Then it would just be the same rotation. Two weeks out of the month, he was great. The man that I loved. And then two weeks, he wasn't. It was like Jekyll and Hyde. It was like Jekyll and Hyde, honey. He would... He was a nightmare. If he would get mad, he would black out. There are holes all through my walls. I mean, never put his hands on me, but... Well, maybe a couple times, but that's besides the point. I'm good. I'm good, honey. So, you know, through the years, bitches behind my back would figure it out, tell him about himself. He'd say I was lying. He'd say they were lying when I had evidential proof. Okay, honey, I, I studied the law. I look like a lawyer today, but I already knew. Love is beautiful, but love sucks. Because love, honey, will drown you. It will blind you. Love is blind, and it'll take over your mind. Hashtag Eve, okay? It will take over. It will blind you. You will sit there and defend a man who is a piece of shit. Then everybody around town started hearing about it and knowing about it. I look stupid at this point. I look stupid. Emily Lynn Taylor... AKA Nunu is not stupid. I'm a strong woman, honey. And you can't tell me no different. I've been through hell and back. I know what hell looks like. Okay? We got married. We got married. He stood right in front of my face and cried because he was so happy. He said his own vows. He didn't we did not repeat anything. He made up his own vows like that's true narcissism right there he really gonna sit there and cry and I'm sorry y'all it's windy look at that it needs to settle down today but anyways I'm trying to do this video honey but I'm already almost eight minutes in so that's my life bitches after bitches stories after stories there were so many rumors in the street we got kicked out of bars he burned so many bridges my friends didn't even want to fuck with me because of him which I forgive y'all still my friends it just hurt for a little bit because nobody knew what was happening over here in 1317 nobody knew it was a nightmare let me sip my coffee it was a total nightmare but 2018 started telling his ass to get out he thought I was joking honey he thought I was joking Nunu wasn't joking no more. When I tell you to get out, oh, I mean to get out. January 5th, finally, woke up, had to go to a mercy meal for my Uncle Jack. May he rest in peace, honey. We buried him on Christmas Eve. It was a nightmare. I woke up, got dressed. He asked me where I was going, told him, don't worry about it. He wanted to get mad. I said, you know what, by the time I get back, get your shit and get the hell out of my house. I don't want you no more. Get out. I'm done with you. He thought I was joking. I wasn't joking. Came home, started acting up. You know what, people are trying me today. You hear this mess? I mean, settle down. It is Sunday morning. I don't want to hear this shit. You hear it? The car? Like, settle down, boy. Anyways, I told him, get out. I meant it. So, when I got home, oh, he knew I meant it. He knew I meant it. He packed up his little bit of shit in his book bags and shit and he left. His speakers were still here because you know he a big producer. And uh, he left. And he never came back. Came back. As a matter of fact, he came back once when I was in the hospital with my amputation. Oh, he knew I was crippled, but he tried to sneak home. My mom was on the porch. I love my mom. She's so little and cute. She turned savage. That's where I get it. But my. 
between my parents, if y'all know my parents, this is this is it. So he left. He never came back. So now I'm at peace. Just fixing up my house, fixing up my broken pieces of my heart, and I'm living my best life. Nobody knew the nightmare that I was living. Nobody truly knew the nightmare that I was living. I'm good. I'm good now. My heart is broken because of everything that I have endured. But nobody knows. Nobody truly knows what a nightmare he was. You may think because of how you may have seen him and how you saw him on Facebook 